Hello, Miles Maeda here with more modern yoga movement videos for you. In this video, we will be practicing sun salutations, incorporating the awareness of the myofascial lines, and seeing what it's like to vary our movements from the way we might normally practice our sun salutations. We're going to do two more simple versions, two little more intermediate versions, and then two to finish a more full traditional version. Please go at your own pace. If you need to take a break, you can always rest in child's pose. If any of the variations is too difficult, you can always do one of the easier ones until you feel ready. Let's first start in a standing position with the feet hip width apart. And this is just to prepare us to be in our equal standing pose. So let's spread the toes, ground the feet, engage the legs, center the pelvis so there's a little lift at the pubic bone and energy flows down at the sacrum. The spine lifts, shoulders relax, and the head lifts as well. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see a little better. Let us lean forward, bringing the weight more towards the balls of the feet, and lean back, bringing the weight more towards the heels. And forward, this engages the fascia in the back of the body, and leaning back engages the fascia in the front. So forward and back, feeling the legs and feet grounded and lifting through the spine. Forward and back. And come to center and we'll do side to side. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mirror you. So let's lean to the right and lean to the left. Now, as we go to the right, the left side of the body is engaging. As we go to the left, the right side is engaging. Keep grounding the legs and feet and lifting through the spine. And one more, each side. And let's come to center. Now we'll make full body circles. So start off small, making circles on the floor. And let's make the circles a little bigger. And as we do that, feel the crown of the head lifting towards the ceiling. Let's make the circles a little smaller and find your center and relax. Still feeling grounded through the legs and feet. You can also feel the floor pressing up against your feet. And with this feeling of groundedness, let us make small full body circles in the other direction. And we can make the circles bigger. And once again, with this feeling of connection to the earth, feel the crown lifting and spiraling up. Make the circles a little smaller and then find your center. And here we can feel balanced between the right and left feet, the front and the back, as well as the top and the bottom. So this is our equal standing pose. Let's come back to the front of the mat. And here we can bring our feet together. Now just take a look at your feet. You want your toes basically to be facing forward. Some people, if their heels are together, the toes actually turn a little more out to the sides. My feet do that a little bit. So I like to separate my heels just a few centimeters or an inch or so. So look at your toes. Try to get your feet so they're feeling like they're pointing more forward. And let us stand feeling grounded in the legs and feet. Again, pelvis centered, spine lifting, shoulders down and head lifting. Now let's press down through the feet and gently spread the legs and feet wide, engaging the lateral lines for stability. Feel a lift at the pubic bone, energy flows down at the sacrum. And let's keep this feeling of a neutral pelvis as we inhale, reach the arms up. And you can look up, feeling a lift at the back of the head. 
and exhale. Let's do a forward bend, looking down at the floor, nice long spine. And here you can bend the knees and place the hands on the floor. Inhale, you can keep your knees bent, half forward bend, so nice flat back, continue looking at the floor. Hands flat on the floor and step or walk back into plank pose. So you're pressing your hands and feet into the floor. There's an engagement at the belly, so a little lift. And we're extending the elbows, extending the knees. Then to come down, we lower the knees. And on the exhale, use your triceps. Keep your elbows close to your ribs and slowly lower yourself all the way to the floor. Point your toes. Now we're gonna come into a small cobra. Press the pubic bone into the floor or press the front of the hips. Reach through the legs and toes. Now we wanna create a little length in the spine. So inhale, you can pull with your wrists. Feel the spine lengthening as it lifts into a small cobra. Shoulders are down, long neck. On the exhale, you can lower halfway. Let's use our knees and push up onto the hands and knees. Inhale. Let's go back, flex your feet, and exhale into downward dog. Now, if your heels don't touch the floor, that's fine. You can bend the knees and focus on spreading the fingers nice and wide, pressing the palms into the floor. Extend those elbows. Shoulders are down from your ears, so your neck is long. Let's spread the arms wide, spread the shoulders wide, and push. So creating some length in the spine, like you're sending your pelvis away from you and you're looking at the belly. Inhale here, exhale, look forward between the hands. So we're looking at where our feet are gonna go and you can walk or step up to the hands, keep your knees bent. Inhale, still grounding through the legs and feet, flat back. Exhale, forward bend, release the head and then keep pressing your feet down and spreading them gently out to the sides and inhale, extend the legs, come up with a flat back. Look up so that lateral line helps stabilize our posture and come back into our equal standing pose. And let's re-establish our equal standing pose. So spreading the toes wide we want to feel the feet grounded. So this is at the heels, the roots of the toes at the little toes, and also the balls of the feet at the root of the big toes. Center the pelvis. And let's engage the lateral lines by feeling like we're sliding the feet out sideways towards the edge of the mat, but keeping them fixed on the floor. And let's feel this deep inner lift. So from the arches, up the inner thighs, the pelvic floor, all along the spine up through the throat. Inhale, reach the arms up and look up, keeping space at the back of the neck and exhale, forward bend. And when you need to, you can bend the knees and then place the hands on the floor. If you can, line up your fingers and your toes, release your head. Inhale, flat back, you can keep your knees bent and be sure you're still grounded in your feet. And then walk or step back into plank pose as you exhale. So press those heels back, spread the arms, spread the shoulders, feel a lift up the front of the body, which continues around the neck, ending at the back of the skull, and feel the energy flowing down the back of the body, out through the heels. On your exhale, lower the knees, and let's do our triceps push up all the way to the floor. Point your toes. Let's ground the pelvis, so we're pressing the hips, pressing the pubic bone into the floor, long legs, and on our inhale, we're doing a small cobra. So feel the sternum reaching forward. You can even Press the wrists back just a little bit to feel some length in the spine. On your exhale, come down halfway. And let's use our knees, 
press up onto the hands and knees, inhale, and downward dog, exhale. Again, you can bend your knees, your heels do not need to be on the floor. Feel extension in your elbows. Feel like you're lengthening the lower back. Sending the pelvis away from your hands. And we're lifting the sits bones and widening the sits bones. Looking at the belly. Inhale here. Spread those shoulders wide, the arms wide. Exhale, bend the knees, look between your hands, and walk or step up. Inhale, flat back, you can bend your knees. Exhale, forward bend. Keep your fingers and your toes lined up. Spread the legs wide, extend the legs as you come up with a flat back, ideally. Looking up, space at the back of the neck, and exhale. Arms come down. Okay, now we're going to make the sun salutations a little more challenging. S make sure your toes are spread, ground your legs and feet. Feel this deep inner lift up the body. Energy flows up the front, including the back of the skull. Energy flows down the back through the heels. Press the legs down and a little out to the sides. Inhale, reach the arms up, keep your pelvis centered. Hands can come together, exhale, forward bend, and keep your legs extended. Inhale, half forward bend, you can just have your fingertips touching the floor. Long back, and plank, exhale. Inhale, spread the shoulders wide, you can also spread the legs wide, lift the belly, and keep your knees up as you Lower yourself to the floor using your triceps. And we'll do a full cobra here. Point your toes, press your pubic bone into the floor. Inhale, you can pull back with your wrist just a little bit. Extend your arms all the way into cobra. Feel a lift up the front of the body and feel energy flowing down the back. Now tuck your toes under, inhale, and lift the pelvis. Exhale, downward dog. Spread your fingers and toes. Extend the elbows. Look at the pubic bone. Lift the sits bones, spread them wide. There's a little internal rotation at the thighs. Spread your toes and try to get the heels grounded on the floor. Nice long neck. Inhale here. Exhale, bend the knees, look between the hands, and step all the way up. Inhale, flat back, extended legs. Exhale, forward bend. Try to keep your fingers and toes lined up. Now press down your legs and feet, spread them wide to engage the lateral lines as you come up. Center the pelvis, hands together, and exhale, equal standing pose. So just check the position of your pelvis, your shoulders, your head. And let's do that one more time. Grounding through the legs and feet, pressing out towards the sides. Inhale, lift through the arches, lift the pelvic floor all the way up through the throat. And exhale, nice long spine, coming down with a flat back. Line up your fingers and toes. Press the hands forward to help deepen the forward bend. Inhale, half forward bend, looking at the floor. And plank, exhale. Feel energy flowing up the front of the body and energy flowing down the back of the body through the heels. Spread those shoulders wide. On your next exhale, keep those elbows drawn close to the ribs, shoulders down. Keep pressing through the heels, lifting at the belly, coming all the way down. Point your toes. So nice long legs, ground the pelvis, and we're gently pulling with the wrists to let the spine come forward. So we're creating space between the vertebrae. Exhale, shoulders down, nice long neck. See if you can feel a lift again up the front of the body. 
and energy flowing down the back. And you can feel a little healthy squeezing of the tissues at the top of the sacrum. Now tuck the toes under and lift the pelvis and exhale, downward facing dog. Let's ground the thumbs and the index fingers as well as the outer edge of the palms. Press the hands away from your feet, engaging the arm lines. Feel a lift at the belly, at the pubic bone. And nice long spine, looking at the pubic bone. Extend the legs, you can press them out to the sides and also press your arms out to the side, spreading the shoulders. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Step up to the hands, inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Pushing with your hands to help deepen the forward bend. Spread the legs wide, engaging the lateral lines. Feel a lift from the arches up through the throat. And equal standing pose. Okay, we are going to do the final sun salutation sequence. We're going to add jumping, and if jumping is challenging for you, then you can just step back. So let's ground the legs and feet, spread them wide, center the pelvis, feel this deep inner lift up through the throat, feel the lift at the back of the skull, shoulders are down, and inhale, reach the arms up, Looking up, palms together, exhale, nice flat back. Keep spreading your legs wide. If you can, keep your palms flat on the floor. Inhale, flat back. Bend the knees, and we suspend the breath as we jump into Chaturanga Dandasana. So you come right into your lowered plank. Try to keep your shoulders so they're not lower than the elbows. And just point your toes, upward facing dog. Keep the knees and legs off the floor if possible. And downward facing dog, rolling over the toes. Spread your fingers wide, your toes wide. So see if you can feel the fascia. If you press your hands away from your feet, you can feel those back arm lines engaged. We're also engaging the back of the body, the back of the legs. Feel that energy flowing down. And the front of the body is lifting, so we're lifting the pubic bone and feel the energy flowing up the front of the spine, including the back of the skull. Inhale here. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Now here, if you spread your shoulders wide, that can help. We suspend the breath, hop. Inhale, flat back, palms down. Exhale, forward bend. And keep spreading the legs wide to engage the lateral line, center the pelvis, lift, and equal standing. Let's do that one more time. Ground the legs and feet. Feel this deep inner lift. Center the pelvis, so we're lifting at the pubic bone. Let the sacrum drop and forward bend. Nice long spine, creating space between the vertebrae. Inhale, flat back, keep your palms down if possible. Line up your fingers and toes, and we suspend the breath and go right into Chaturanga Dandasana. Looking forward, lift the belly, extend the legs. Inhale, upward dog, and downward dog. Try to feel lightness in your downward dog, pressing the hands away from your feet, spreading the shoulders wide, and also spreading the legs wide. And just notice if that creates a different feeling of being in the pose. Shoulders down from your ears, gazing at the navel. Inhale, extend the elbows, extend the knees. Exhale, let's bend the knees. Keep spreading the shoulders wide, and we suspend the breath as we hop forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward bend. 
Spread the legs wide as you inhale and come up. Center the pelvis. Lifting and equal standing pose. All right, just take a moment in your standing posture to feel yourself. Once again, the feet grounded, legs grounded. Feel this energy flowing up the front of the body, lifting at the back of the skull. Feel energy flowing down the back of the body, down to the heels. Feel Feel this flow of energy up the core of the body feeling centered and balanced. So just checking that you're balanced between the right foot and left foot, the front and the back, as well as the top and the bottom. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And that completes this practice.